While watching this video, please make sure you have a pen or pencil and your note sheet so you can write down all of the needed information. In this video, you're going to learn about personification, which is another type of figurative language. And as we can see in the word personification, we also have the word person, which is a very good clue to help you remember this definition. So personification is giving human qualities or abilities to an inanimate object. Sometimes instead of inanimate, people will say a non-living object or a non-human object. And any of those really are fine because you can personify something that can move so possibly you can give a human quality to like an animal um, or if we sometimes people say non-living but we can personify like a plant which is a living object so this word depending on what definition you look up sometimes does change but as long as you're giving human qualities to something that is not human that is really the key thing um, for personification so we can come up with lots of examples of personification when we think about this. So I just mentioned that you can personify a plant, for example. So I might say something like the flowers nodded as I walked past them, right? So I'm giving the flowers the human qualities of being able to nod. Flowers don't actually have heads. They can't move by themselves. So this is personification because I've given the flowers a human quality. Most of the time when you're doing this for it to be personification, you're giving the um, non-human or inanimate object some sort of action that they wouldn't normally be able to do or a skill that they wouldn't normally be able to do. All right, so what you can do at this point is stop the video and see if you can come up with a few examples on your own. And then after you've done that, what you want to do is watch the video, the um, second video on personification that will give you a few more examples that you could also write down. If you have any questions about this concept, please let me know and I will try to answer those for you.